hello everyone so uh, this time we will be incorporating the topics of peace education on our respective subjects I will be incorporating two lessons for all the subjects that I am handling lesson 6 and lesson 9 of peace education module all of you all of the students who are enrolled in my subject understanding the self and gender and society are required to to attend to this lecture okay so if you wonder Nga nung, uh, lesson 6 it's because uh, all of the modules and lessons have been divided among the teachers of uh, general education subjects and uh, mine happens to be lesson 6 and lesson 9 but for now we will be discussing lesson 6 and next week we will be discussing lesson 9 Okay, so lesson 6 is entitled being considerate of the benefit of others so the main the key uh, key word right here is consideration for others so these are the lesson objectives number one understanding the concept and importance of consideration number two understanding the benefits that derive from being considerate through examples and number three understand that everyone needs to be considerate for peace in a community and learn how to apply it okay, so those are the lesson objectives so first point here here's a question for everyone an opening question how, uh, why do we need to be considerate no? That's a question. Why is it important to be considerate and what are some factors that hinder this? The answer to that is provided here. Consideration is necessary to live in a community together. And the lack of community consciousness and the importance of life deteriorates consideration. So we are given here a, a real scenario where in in a community there are different personalities different tribes different races different values and different traditions so consideration being considerate to others is a must no and the lack of community consciousness and important importance of life deteriorates our cons our sense of consideration to others that means it we if we do not have any community consciousness if we do not care about others if we do not care about our community our environment that means it deteriorates our sense of consideration towards others if you see this as an example others other people in our neighborhood who do not care about their neighbors actually behaves in a way that irritates other people like uh, uh, having parties all night long that disturbs other people you know? so those types of behavior are what you call lack of community consciousness they do not care about others thus what happens is they lack the consideration for other people so benefits and cases of consideration what do we gain from being considerate and the answer to that is being considerate has a feeling of respect for one another and it influences the happiness and health of other people if we see it from this perspective being considerate alleviates the state 
of happiness and health of other people, especially mental health. No? If we are considerate of other people, it, it fosters their happiness and their health, and not only their health, but also, on the other end, it fosters our sense of happiness in being able to being able to serve others no it's a form of service to others no uh, funneling their happiness towards their life no and ours also Her did you know that helping others creates a feeling of positive uh, positive emotion within ourselves next is how to apply being considerate Here's a question. What are specific methods to practice consideration? The answer to that is provided here. The beginning of consideration is to empathize and listen with the attitude of thinking in the perspective of the other person. This is the basic knowledge of a citizen of peace. If you are a peace-loving individual within a community, the first uh, step towards consideration is to empathize and listen with the attitude of thinking in the perspective of the other person. In other words, in simpler terms, putting yourself in the shoes of others. That would make cons uh, consideration or considering their, their feelings much effective and much better. Now, if you know how they feel, you would be much more considerate with them. If you know how they behave, how they practice their religion, their tradition, and how they express these values towards the, the community, most likely you will be able to effectively empathize with them. Now, main, uh, main points of the lesson. The main points to comprehend here is consideration, the heart of helping or caring for another. Second point, empathy, to feel the same about the other people's feelings, opinions, and arguments. Third, altruism, it is the opposite of being selfish. And it is the mind that cares for and benefits others. Why do we need to be considerate? So here's the question again. No. Why is it necessary to consider other people's constructiveness together? No. Since prehistoric times until today, society has been structured so that humanity can protect itself from the outside environment and ensure society survives. However, at the same time, there have been various conflicts and disputes due to various values. No? As, as we go along our, our development as a, as a community, we, we observe that as a community grows bigger, uh, various factions group together in accordance to the values and traditions that they have. And so, with various values and practices means more intermingling with the uh, with people of different race, different religion, no, different ethnicity. What happens is that there are instances that these values are in conflict with each other. That's why disputes occur. Why is it necessary? Uh, no? So that's just the same question. No? Humanity needs to make an effort to understand each other's perspective, to live in harmony without conflicts and disputes. If you see the main uh, point here is that we have to make an effort. It does not come naturally. In nature, you can see that there is no concept such as peace because it's always a struggle for survival thus it takes an effort for us to be civilized and understand each other's perspective to live in harmony without conflicts and disputes 
we need to understand the perspective and situation of others and consider the values of others first. The value of consideration is essential to creating a peaceful organization with individuals and the society. Through consideration, we can cultivate virtue as human beings. Factors that interfere with consideration. The first there would be the lack of community awareness. The second is the destruction of nature and life. Begin with care to build the character of peace. It is love that makes human relationships the most meaningful of all. Love makes man whole. Love begins with care and consideration. When someone cares about a person first, that person feels and reciprocates both gratitude and love towards the other person. Care is an attitude and action that derives positive side of us to be expressed outwards. Care helps us transform our selfishness, greed, hatred, prejudice, doubt, and aggression that governs our thought into love, respect, understanding, gratitude, and compassion for others. Care is the basic material that links our increasingly fragmented society and members of a community and restores them into a community of harmony and peace. Care can easily begin in everyday life. It can be a small expression of concern and care for another person. It may be small but it is considerate to help people without turning a blind eye to small inconveniences and difficulties. This is what they call going out of your way to help others. No? Uh, such as giving up one seat on buses or subways on Philippine cultures. We give our seat to the elders and uh, we move aside. No, We give consideration to elders dito sa end part si jeepney no or holding the door for other person or sharing an umbrella when it rains it is also a form of active consideration to carry out a positive act while thinking how can this other person be happier care is like air in a room when there's air a person does not recognize the presence of that air however when there is no air it becomes noticeably stuffy if societies or organization in which i live feel harmonious with one another it is because they are showing consideration for each other both large and small forms of care exist similar to how air allows us to breathe together so here's a quote from dale carnegie an american author and professor if you do something for someone else never remember if someone does something for you never forget it's a very beautiful quote which means that uh, if you do something good for other people never list it down no and uh, if something if somebody does good for you then never forget it because at some point at some point maybe no you have to you will repay it no? in some way or, an, or another so here's an activity time for us so please take note of this everyone So you will have to discuss this. You will have to have your outputs on this. Each and every one of you who, who is enrolled in my, in my subject, again, understanding the self and gender in society, will have to discuss these pointers on a different 
a different format. Okay? So, first, what kinds of experiences and small acts of consideration have warmed up your heart? No? So, what are, the ex what are your experiences with consideration, with you being considered upon? Number two, what kind of experiences have you experienced that lacked consideration and made you feel offended? And number three, let us share our thoughts on how showing an attitude of mutual consideration for another can have an impact on the community. So these are our three discussions that you will have to that you will have to have an output on on a different format. But these are our activities. Benefits and cases of consideration. Kind words do not cost much, yet they accomplish much, according to Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician and philosopher. Consideration affects people's happiness and health. When being considerate, you experience positive emotions and constant joy. According to experiments conducted by Professor Martin Sliman from University of Pennsylvania, it is confirmed that doing something nice for others resonates with people much stronger than the joyous activities such as having fun with friends, watching movies, and drinking warm chocolate milk. Being considerate not only brings positive emotions but also positively influences the physical body. In other research, being considerate helps the immune system while lowering hypertension and cholesterol levels. Also, it releases endorphins, three times the normal amount to bring vital energy to the body. So here are some stories of consideration, love, and senseless act of kindness. This one is entitled, I can, own, I can love only one person at a time. It's a story of Mother Teresa. When Mother Teresa passed away, many authors came from all over the world to honor her noble life. An editorial introduced an article in which Ivy League student filled an auditorium to listen to a very small, humble nun's lecture. Many famous people had already shined in this auditorium, but Mother Teresa was the first to fill the venue to a point where the audience did not have a place to stand. So, full packed ang auditorium. No? Students gathered with awe and respect to hear the lecture of a small and old woman who had no fortune or a title in a big company. This woman did not make food to feed everyone in the world, nor did she form the United Nations for world peace. She only took interest in each person she encountered and showered them with love and cared for them with all of her heart. According to Mother Teresa, I never looked at the masses as my responsibility. I look at the individual. I can love only one person at a time. I can feed only one person at a time. Just one, one, one. So that's Mother Teresa, a Catholic nun who worked with the poor in India. So contemplating on her story which bears so much wisdom we can only take care and love one person at a time we cannot be held responsible for loving a multitude of people we can only express love and care for the person that we meet along the way no so it's a very good it's a very good uh, example of being considerate and uh, caring for others, you know, just one person at a time. The second story is entitled "Paid in Full with One Glass of Milk." One day in 1880, a student named Howard Kelly was selling goods door to door. 
to pay his way through school. He was not able to sell any goods that day and found he only had one dime left. He had not eaten all day, so he went to the next house and knocked on the door to ask for a meal. A lovely young woman opened the door and the shy boy asked for just a cup of water. However, the young woman brought him a glass of milk. She knew he was hungry. Kelly drank all of the milk quickly and asked, How much do I owe you? The young woman responded, Mother has taught me to never accept pay for a kindness. Kelly never forgot this small act of kindness and studied hard to become a famous obstetrician gynecologist. Many years later, Howard Kelly met a patient with a rare disease. This patient was the young woman who had given him the glass of milk many years back. Kelly, who recognized this woman, gave special attention to her case, and she was fully healed. The young woman, who was fully healed, worried that her bill would be very expensive. However, the bill that she received had this written on it, paid in full with one glass of milk. So this is one of the examples wherein a small act of kindness can actually reverberate across time and will increase in impact and how it affects other people and so on and so forth. Howard Kelly is a co-founder of John Hopkins Hospital, one of the most famous hospitals in the world. This miracle story made from one act of kindness was spread all over the world and touched many hearts. Activity time again. So we have another discussion. So you again, in this discussion, you will be made to make an output from these discussions. I will be posting it soon. Let's discuss the stories or cases of kindness around us. So you will have to tell a story, your own version of your story, of you've heard. It can be personal or it can be vicarious experiences no? of kindness around you. Number two, what was your experience of giving a hand to help others? What kind of effect did it have on you? The application and practice of care. According to Confucius, a Chinese philosopher, good people are generous without being wasteful. The restoration of practice the restoration and practice of care. We need to restore the value of consideration in order to achieve a world of peace in the face of increasing social problems caused by materialism and egoism. Before expecting the other people to be considerate, I should put this into practice first and then encourage the entire community to learn and practice consideration. So basically, what, what we're saying here is that put yourself first into practice and encourage others to do it. Never wait for other people to be considerate before you, be, you become considerate yourself. You start first with yourself and then you encourage others to do the same. Think first of the situation and position of others. Consideration includes tolerance, understanding, and seeing other, another perspective. It's self-centered to expect others to understand your situation while seeing others' difficulty as something to overcome. Care, beings we, uh, care begins with an effort to stand in the position of others rather than my own. Expand the range of consciousness that was limited only to me to others. Place yourself in another person's mind with thoughts such as, what about the other person's condition? What if I am in that condition? And what is difficult? Like this, thinking of other person's perspective helps one to respect the other person's heart and this leads to 
consideration. The ability to care for others depends on the ability to interpret the purpose and motivation rather than emotion. Therefore, it is necessary to understand another person's perspective and try to listen to his or her story and sympathize with him or her. Empathy helps us understand and care for people around us. We cannot imagine cooperating with each other without empathy. Teamwork and trust are also built on empathy. Then how can you develop your ability to empathize and practice your consideration? When we focus on what the other side wants to do rather than listening to criticize or analyze, we can get into a world of deep sympathy. At this time, we can listen to the voice in our hearts for us to listen attentively to others. Let us practice the next two points to focus our minds. First, observe the actual situation as it unfolds. Whether it is beneficial to me or not, observe the words and actions of other person as it is. The way to do this is to say clearly and concretely what you have observed without making judgment or evaluations apart from whether you like or dislike their actions. Second, say how you feel when you see their actions. Express the feeling whether you're heartbroken, scared, happy, joyful, or irritated. Also, you will be able to understand the other's emotions and thoughts. You can broaden your understanding of what the other person's desires, positions, and situations are in the process of confirming that he or she has listened carefully. In general, people are more likely to engage in intricate conflicts with intimate people and neglect care for those they are closer to. Therefore, if you really want to cultivate the ability to care and to live it out, it is recommended to constantly listen and practice at home, school, and even work. Never neglect places that are close and dear to you. That is a training ground for you to grow your ability to care for others. Focus on one person, not on many people. As the story of Mother Teresa has showed us that we can focus on just one. We can love one person at a time. When you are considerate to others, you should always base it on your one-on-one -on -one relationship with that person. Ethics defines care as a more in-depth and specific emotion than philanthropy or compassion. In other words, it is more appropriate to engage with a specific person and situation. So, Nadine say that forming the relationship between you and I should be the basic premise for consideration. When the person-to-person -person meeting as the human-to-human -human is premised, the consideration gains the great power. In other words, even when dealing with people or certain groups, we must consider each individual and how they will be influenced. It is no different when we apply the method of care. When negotiating with a group, it is necessary to keep in mind the sensitivity and psychological acceptability of each person. The other party desires to be treated as a whole personality. The care for the person in front of you should not be forgotten. Discussion time. So there are two discussions that you have to make an output. So there are three outputs na, with two points each and the three points at the first discussion. First is, how do you feel when you were judged by others and why did you feel that way? How did you feel when you were understood and sympathized with, with by others and why did you feel like that? Number two, let's discuss how consideration and peace are related to each other. Application. Let's pick a friend and practice these three things of exploration. 
Let's put together what we've learned and what we felt during the process of changing our relationship with him or her. Now, in this application, there is an uh, there is an output that is required of you to make, but that will be updated later. Conclusion. Consideration is being thoughtful to others. The act of thoughtfulness comes from the bottom of your heart. Everyone is loved by their parents or others when they are born. And the love a person receives has a great influence in building their character. The more love one receives, the more they can love themselves. We mature further by conveying the love we receive to others and practicing care to seek the benefit of other the attitude of thinking for my benefit alone in society leads to egotistical world therefore let us fulfill the conditions and qualifications to be a citizen of peace by practicing and studying the consideration of others rather than me everyone dreams of a world of peace such dreams are not made through someone on the outside in other words, the peaceful life that we will create is a way of sharing love with people around us, resolving conflicts with open minds, and building a social structure that allows more people to live happily. This kind of world is the common dream of mankind. Our goal of achieving these dreams will be realized through the practice of care. As a saying, Dreaming alone is ideal, but dreaming that everyone shares together becomes reality someday. So, thank you so much for listening to this uh, short lecture. So, here are the references. Activities and discussions and applications will be followed through on your individual Google Classrooms. Thank you so much for your time.